Here we go. Where sassy nobody knows. Where sassy, where did he go? Where sassy is he over there? Where sassy does anybody care? We do! All right, folks, it's time to listen. Our favorite squatch seems to be a missing. He could be up. He could be down, he could be anywhere all around. Might be in a room, might be in a hall. So keep your eyes open, one and all. Follow the trail and find the clues. Cause Sassy disappearing is gonna make the news. Where in the school is Sassy? Where in the school is Sassy? <laughs> we interrupt this show with breaking news. Sassy the famous Sasquatch is missing. We have outdoor adventure expert and Sassy's best friend Lance Evergreen with us. Welcome to SNN, Lance. Gosh, thanks. This is a very sad day. I can't believe Sassy is missing. Tell us how you met Sassy. A few years ago, I was searching for the Sageville Sasquatch. There were rumors that he existed, but no solid proof. So through hard work and dedication, I found the Sageville Sasquatch. And then, I learned how to communicate with him with the help of Leroy, who speaks Squatch. Sassy later attended school at Sageville and learned from all of the students how to be a Sasquatch of character, respect, and responsibility. He even had his own talk show. I guess you could say, Sassy is pretty much the best darn Sasquatch I've ever known. <laughs> and, and now, he's, he's gone. Terrible news, what happened? Sassy and I had a great summer. We spent a lot of time working around the school grounds. We went swimming. And we even worked on our golf swing. And then, of course, we were getting ready for the new school year. That's when it happened. I haven't seen him since. One minute he was here, the next minute he was gone. So what now? What now? We need your help. Sageville students, you can find Sassy. What about the police? The fire department or animal control? Well, they could probably find him too, but that's not the point. Sageville students are the best. So gather the clues. There will be lots of them. And follow the trail. And, and it will probably have really cute big footprints. You heard it, Sageville. It's up to you. It's going to take every one of you. Every month we will check in and see if together we can find where in the school is Sassy. Here we go. Where Sassy nobody knows. Where Sassy where did he go? Where Sassy is he over there? Where Sassy does anybody care? We do! All right, folks, it's time to listen. Our favorite squatch seems to be a missing. He could be up, he could be down, he could be anywhere all around. Might be in a room, might be in a hall. So keep your eyes open, one and all. Follow the trail and find the clues. Cause Sassy disappearing is gonna make the news. Where in the school is Sassy? Where in the school? <laughs> we interrupt this program with an urgent message as we report last month, Sassy, the Sageville Sasquatch, is missing. Outdoor adventurer Lance Evergreen has spent the month gathering clues and evidence.
On today's show, we have Lola Evergreen, DNR Wildlife Specialist, and she also happens to be Lance Evergreen's cousin. Thanks for joining us, Lola. Happy to be here. Since you're a wildlife expert, what kinds of clues should we be looking for? Sassy is from the Woochie Woo species, a very rare type of Sasquatch found only in the Midwest, which are known for shedding their toenails in the fall. Interesting. And why is that? We're not sure. It could be their way of dealing with heavy foot traffic. They do walk barefoot, you know. Or it could be a nasty foot fungus. We're going to look into that. We hear the DNR has been trying to capture a live Sasquatch for years. I can't confirm that, but yes. Studying a Sasquatch would be a dream come true for the DNR. Either way, we just want Sassy to be safe. So do we. Thanks for joining us today, Lola Evergreen. What's that? Breaking news! We are going live to the Sedro Playground with the update. We have an eyewitness on the spot. What can you tell us? We were looking for clues during recess and we found this. And what is that? It's a toenail. A big one. It kind of smells bad too. A toenail! Just the thing Lola told us to watch for. Does it appear to be a Sasquatch sized toenail? Well, it's bigger than any human toenail I've ever seen. Even my dad. Ew. Could this be evidence that Sassy is somewhere nearby? We will be back next month. In the meantime, keep your eyes open and help us find Where in the school is Sassy? Here we go. Where's Sassy? Nobody knows. Where's Sassy? Where did he go? Where's Sassy? Is he over there? Where's Sassy? Does anybody care? Alright folks, it's time to listen. Our favorite squatch seems to be a missing. He could be up, he could be down, he could be anywhere all around. Might be in a room, might be in a hall. So keep your eyes open one and all. Follow the trail and find the clues. Cause Sassy disappearing is gonna make the news. Where in the school is Sassy? Where in the school? Sassy. <laughs> Breaking news! Sassy is still missing. Lance Evergreen continues his search and fourth graders are helping him. Today we have Leroy Lookum in our studio. Leroy can speak Sasquatch and he's now a published author. Welcome to our studio, Leroy. Thank you very kindly. And my new book is number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Why do you think Sassy has disappeared? Here's the thing. It ain't easy thinking like a Squatch thinks. The brains are on a whole nother level than ours. If you want to know more, read chapter six of my new book, Squatch Talking, number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Are there any signs we can look for to help us find Sassy? Well, let me flip to chapter two of my new book, Squatch Talking, number one on the New York Times bestseller list, by the way. <clears throat> One telltale sign a squatch is around is footprints. A straightforward stride indicates a squatch is happy and healthy, nice and straight. However, footprints in a circular pattern can be proof that a squatch is confused, hungry, or a little muddled in the noggin if you know what I mean. <laughs> that is very helpful. We will let the fourth graders know. And you can also order my new best-selling book, Squatch Talking, on Amazon. Amazon.com. Got it. No, no. Not Amazon.com. The Amazon River. I got me a little booth set up there with copies of my book for sale. Okay. Let's go back to the Sageville Playground and check on our search for Sassy. Look, a footprint! And another! They're going around and around! Sassy must be confused. 
Or hungry. Or a little muddle in the noggin. What should we do? Follow the footprints. Sassy into the school. Sassy appears a little disoriented and is limping slightly. Lance must be taking Sassy to the nurse's office. Sassy's getting into the elevator. What's this? Something is happening. Lance seems baffled more than he usually is. Sassy? Hello? Sassy? Can it be? Sassy is missing again? I think we have a big problem. Here we go. Where's Sassy? Nobody knows. Where's Sassy? Where did he go? Where's Sassy? Is he over there? Where's Sassy? Does anybody care? Folks, it's time to listen. Our favorite squatch seems to be a missing. He could be up, he could be down, he could be anywhere all around. Might be in a room, might be in a hall. So keep your eyes open, one and all. Follow the trail and find the clues. Cause Sassy disappearing is gonna make the news. Where in the school is Sassy? Where in the school? Sassy. <laughs> Breaking news! Sassy has disappeared again! Students found Sassy on the school playground. They followed a trail of toenails and footprints. But as soon as they found him, he went missing in the elevator. Leroy Lookum is back on our show today. What is happening here? So the furry fella's probably lost in the school somewhere. We got to communicate with him. As dictated in chapter 27 of my best-selling book, Squatch Talking. How do we do that? You got to speak Squatch. Let me teach you. Now that means sassy. Where are you? Now you try it. Maybe if everyone tries to speak Sasquatch, Sassy will hear us. Let's go live to a third grade classroom. Now that's not bad, but let's let's try this instead, huh? Now that means Sassy come home. That was close. Now that was some good vocalization. That might just find the squatch. We have to find Sassy. He was last seen getting in the elevator. He must have got out on this floor. Hey, look, what's that? It's Sasquatch fur. <gasps> A huge development today in the search for Sassy. This is the sign that Sassy must be in the building. Let's follow the fur. Sounded like. 
Sasquatch used to roam our halls, but all of that changed when Sassy suddenly disappeared. Since Sassy went missing, clues have been found around the school. Clumps of possible Sasquatch hair. Last month, third graders finally tracked down the lovable Sasquatch inside the school. But before they could talk to Sassy or find out why he's been vanishing, he vanished. Again! But he left behind a tantalizing clue, what appears to be a present to all of us. We are now going live to Sageville School as second graders are examining this mystery gift. I'm not gonna open it. You should open it. You. Not me. Not gonna happen, Kevin. Not nope. gonna happen to me. Not me. Nope. <laughs> not at all. Nope. I ain't gonna open it. You open it. Not me. Not me. I don't. Definitely don't. Not me. I'm never opening it. You open it. No. You. You got to open it. No way can you I open it. I I'm not gonna open it. Nope. I'm not gonna open no it. No way, sassy. No way, sassy. You got it. You should open it. Never, never, never. I'm too scared. No, I'm never opening it. You. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. We'll open it. <gasps> Ready, Blake? Since everyone is anxious to see what's inside the box, we will now cut away for some long, pointless commentary by our SNN reporter. Sassy means a lot to all of Sageville School, and we can speak for everyone when we say, let's come together and find Sassy. Sassy needs us. Sassy needs us more than ever. It's up to us. And now we return to the opening of Sassy's present. school. But what does it mean? Wait a minute. There's dots on the box. E. Spell. 
Maybe the letters are mixed up. What if it's N O S E? Nose. Here we go. Well, sassy, nobody knows. Well, sassy, where did he go? Well, sassy, is he over there? Well, sassy, does anybody care? We do! All right, folks, it's time to listen. Our favorite squatch seems to be a missing. He could be up, he could be down, he could be anywhere all around. Might be in a room, might be in a hall. Keep your eyes open, one and all. Follow the trail and find the clues. Cause Sassy disappearing is gonna make the news. Where in the school is Sassy? Where in the school is Sassy? We interrupt SNN with breaking news. Sassy is missing again, but this time he's left behind a clue. We go live on the scene at Sageville School where some first graders are trying to figure it out. The first graders are journaling, sharing their ideas on what they think is going on with Sassy. They have some pretty interesting theories. Where do you think Sassy is? I think Sassy is finding a girlfriend. I think they are going to kiss. Sassy is getting ready for spring fling. He is getting information from the teachers to see if the kids were good. a map of the school. There are little footprints on the map. on the box N O S E. What is Sassy trying to tell us? Our favorite squatch seems to be a missing. He could be up, he could be down, he could be anywhere all around. Might be in a room, might be in a hall. Keep your eyes open, one and all. Follow the trail and find the clues. Cause Sassy disappearing is gonna make the news. Where in the school is Sassy? Where in the school is Sassy? <laughs>
It's me, Lance. Where, where are you going? What is that odor? It smells like a Sasquatch. Hey, little cuz. I just came to check up on you. How you doing? Lola, has a DNR had any luck tracking Sassy? I just saw him, but he left for some reason. Nah, we had to stop looking. We had too many other things going on. I just wanted to tell you, it's gonna be okay. It's easy for you to say, Lola. Your best friend isn't a furry, lovable Sasquatch that you've known since he was practically a cub. Just calm down, Lance. No! Sassy needs me! I'm gonna call Leroy, and we're gonna get the band back together. We have to. We have to for Sassy's sake. Lance, be reasonable. Sassy is my reason for being reasonable. Lance! Hey boss, we have a problem. Sassy? It's me, Lance. Where, where are you going? What is that odor? It smells like a Sasquatch. Just calm down, Lance. No! Sassy needs me! I'm gonna call Leroy, and we're gonna get the band back together. We have to. We have to for Sassy's sake. Lance, be reasonable. Sassy is my reason for being reasonable. Hey boss, we have a problem. 
Here we go. Where's Sassy? Nobody knows. Where's Sassy? Where did he go? Where's Sassy? Is he over there? Where's Sassy? Does anybody care? We do! All right, folks, it's time to listen. Our favorite squatch seems to be a missing. He could be up. He could be down, he could be anywhere all around Might be in a room, might be in a hall Keep your eyes open one and all Follow the trail and find the clues Cause Sassy disappearing is gonna make the news Where in the school is Sassy? Where in the school is Sassy? <laughs> it's been quite a school year, hasn't it? But there's still one mystery we have to solve. Where in the school is Sassy? I think I figured it out. Hey Lance, what's up? Give it up, Lola. I know what you've been up to. How did you figure it out? All year long, Sassy kept leaving Sageville. But this last time, I finally caught a whiff in the hallway. It smelled like a Sasquatch. But not a real Sasquatch. It was a man-made smell. You have a good sniffer, Lance. It's a special Squatch scent spray. But why, Lola? Why were you doing this to Sassy? Every time Sassy appeared at Sageville School, I used my Squatch scent spray to draw him away from the school and back into the woods. We just wanted to study him in his natural habitat. Wait a minute. We? The DNR, Lance. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably call him. Hello, Sageville. This is Sergeant Major Stonefield. I left Sageville two years ago to work at the Pentagon in the Sasquatch Center. I have dedicated every minute of my life to develop Sasquatch items, like the Sasquatch scent spray, and I've been working out. While well, just last week, a button fell off my uniform. It was around the waist, but those are just details. Hold on, it's Lola from Sageville. Hi, Sergeant Stonefield. This is Lola. I'm afraid our plan didn't work. Why? What happened? Didn't the Sasquatch scent spray work? I oversaw the development of it by the military, right here in the Pentagon. I thought he'd want to be in his natural habitat. You know, the woods, his home. That's impossible. The spray was designed to bring Sasquatches back to where they live. I don't understand. Well, thanks for trying, Lola. I guess Sassy is just too smart for us. Where is Sassy now? Is he okay? Lance, I had to capture him, but he escaped again. I don't understand why he kept going back to Sageville School. I do, Lola. You wondered why Sassy kept coming back to Sageville? That's because Sageville is Sassy's natural habitat. Sageville is Sassy's home. <laughs> Hmm? <gasps> <gasps>
Nobody knows where Sassy, where did he go? Where's Sassy? Is he over there? Where's Sassy? Does anybody care? We do! All right, folks, it's time to listen. Our favorite Squatch seems to be a missing. He could be up, he could be down, he could be anywhere all around. Might be in a room, might be in a hall. Keep your eyes open, one and all. Follow the trail and find the clues. Cause Sassy disappearing is gonna make the news. Where in the school is Sassy? Where in the school is Sassy? <laughs>